Shalom. I'm eyes up. Back with another scriptural slashing on false prophets and false doctrines. And um, today we're going to get into the GMS Kuhn Commandments. And watch Vernon fumble, flip flop, and freestyle his way through the Bible. Let's get right into it. Of course, is it, is it any surprise to any of you that he's talking about Nate again? Gossiping, bitch. Nate Israelite, and then we call him to come as you are Israelite. You can have dreadlocks, you know, you know, you can, you, 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 you can, you can have, you can, you can, you can, you can, all headed. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Did Vernon just say something about being bald headed? Let's take a look at uh, Jason Winhorse here. Vernon, you're in violation. Look at this. No hair on Jason's head. Vernon, you're in violation of Deuteronomy, the first chapter in the 17th verse. Okay? You're being a respecter of persons in judgment, as the scripture says in Deuteronomy 1 and 17. You call yourself a man of God. I mean, all through the book of Deuteronomy, you can slice this guy apart. De uh, Deuteronomy 1 to 17. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. Vernon, you're in violation of that scripture. Here it is, Jason Winhorse got a ball deep. You say nothing to him when he comes to camp with the Grace Jones fade. Okay, nothing but uh, uh, baldness on the sides. With the moose on the top. Come oh, on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get back into this clown. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, you, the scriptures tell you you ain't supposed to walk on man. Point of nature. Now. Go back a little bit, let's scale back. Now watch how uncomfortable he looks when he brings us out. Watch. I'm just tell you, you ain't supposed to walk a man for the nature for a woman to have long hair. That's right. Did y'all see that? Long hair. Now he doesn't feel comfortable saying yeah, yeah. Watch. So so I mean you the scriptures tell you you ain't supposed to walk a man for the nature for a woman to have long hair. That's right. And the man to have not have long hair, short hair. Man. That's right. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you why he doesn't look very comfortable. This is Numbers chapter 6 verse 5. All the days of the vow of his separation there shall no razor come upon his head until the days be fulfilled in which he separateth himself unto the Lord. He shall be holy and shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. So it is not against the law for a man to have long hair. That's a lie. Another example of the One West mind control by the bum flunky himself, the false Y2K prophet himself, Vernon Brown. Now what Vernon says is another phase of his mind control and these dummies won't study for themselves, too busy trying to please him. He says that you gotta cut it for the Passover. There's no scripture saying that. So that puts you in violation of Proverbs 30, uh, uh, Proverbs 30 and 6, as well as Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter and the second verse. Now, let's read what God says about keeping your vows. Deuteronomy 23 and 21. When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy God, thou shalt not slack to pay it. For the Lord thy God will surely require it of thee, and it will be sin in thee. Okay? So Vernon, you're full of it, man. This is what he pushes on on, on um, the unsuspecting brothers at his winter lamb dinners. In that little sardine can in the Bronx. $50 per plate. Don't forget about that. February 2nd, 2015. $50 per plate. But uh, let me read this before I go on to that. Ecclesiastes 5 and 4. When thou vowest to vow unto God, 
defer not to pay, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed, such as the Nazarite vow. All right, Vernon. Another lesson is scriptural slashing on your coons, man. You got some nerve calling yourself a man of God. You should have ended that calling yourself a prophet after 2000. When, Jan when the ball dropped, man, uh, you should you should have just quit it. But you're too proud. You're so proud and so greedy for money. Because, yeah, these dummies give you their money. That you have the nerve to say... We're not even in the year 2000 yet. We didn't even get to the year 2000. We're technically somewhere in the 70s. This, you, you're something else, man. Now, since we mentioned the Passover, I got to let you brothers and sisters in on something. There's an extra special video in the works for Vernon's Winter Land Dinner, AKA GMS Passover, $50 a plate, okay? February 2nd, 2015, and January 2016. Nice, frosty, cold, ice cold Passover, all right? With that, shalom.